हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज ओपन आईडी कनेक्ट विद सेल्स फोर्स सो टुडे आई जस्ट शो यू वन लाइव डेमो हाउ टू क्रिएट सिंगल साइन ऑन विद ओपन आईडी या सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू आवर डेमो सेशन सो फॉर दैट व्हाट यू नीड इज यू नीड टू सेल्स फोर्स और सो यू कैन क्रिएट अ टू और for you for this particular demo and what i'm going to do is one arc i'm just going to create as a connected app and there i'll be enabling the open id and the second a salesforce environment what we are going to do is we are going to connect the or create the authentication provider so let's move to the first arc so this is my arc what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create first app so you can just click on this quick search and find for the app and just open this app manager and say new connected app yeah so here we have to fill some of the information and save this app so now today is what we we are going to give is like demo open id connect yeah and i'll give my email id here yeah okay so once we provide you can also give the logo image url if you have any if not then you can leave it as it is yeah so once you are done then the next uh, setting that you have to do is enable auth settings yeah so just click here and call back url you can give anything for now yeah later will update this and here how to enable the open id is there is a scope called open id just scroll down yeah so here i'm just going to take i'm going to take the id profile email id and custom permission so this three setting i am or not setting this three scope i'm going to select here once i select uh, i'm going to select the another one called configure id token so once you select this so as you all know open id work as a id token yeah so you have to click or select on this and consumer key so consumer key what you have to provide is uh basically the org from where you want to connect this open id so i'll just go here and get this url or uh, if you want to use login.salesforce.com uh, that would be also fine if not you can specify the your know, domain url here and you just select all this option and just save this this is for now later again we'll come back here and update something yeah so call back cannot be http so for now i'll just copy this okay and provide the call back url save this so once you save you can also observe that you have the consumer key and secret key so this is very much required so just request it yeah so nowadays uh, we'll get in our gmail so let me get my verification code yeah so i got my verification code and just verify so once we'll verify then only we'll get the consumer key so uh, we have opened this window now and after that what you have to do just switch on to the next uh, developer org where we have to create the authentication provider yeah so go to the home and quick find search for auth yeah so once you type in you will get auth providers yeah so just click here will be navigated to the page now i'm just going to create the new one 
yeah so here you can see we have the option called open id connect so give the name open id demo yeah then consumer key so whatever the key we have here just provide the same okay so authorization and point url so i'll provide this so what you have to give you have to give the this path yeah so this path should be of your connected app yeah so here you can see this is matching with my connected app yeah so this would be the same url now i'm going to get the our token endpoint url okay got it user info url yeah so don't miss this user info otherwise you'll get the error while doing the single sign up yeah so token issuer so you have to leave it as in empty okay and the scope we have to give as this open id email and profile okay and what the uh, next stage step we have to do here is we have to generate the registration handler yeah so just say automatically create once we'll save salesforce is going to create the handler for this we'll come back again after saving this now we have to run this handler with specific user so i'm just selecting my name and we have to save so once we save this what next we have to do we have to just change the registration handler yeah because salesforce generate uh, its own uh, methods yeah and we don't need those methods here for our demo so what i'm gonna do click on edit and i'll just replace with my methods okay so i'll explain what i'm doing here so once you are copy just paste i'll provide this code to you guys yeah so what i am doing here i am just checking whether this particular users are logged in okay where we have the email matching or not as a federation identifier so federation identifier is our federation id in user object so we are checking with the logged in email logged in user email id matching with federation id of our particular org or not if yes then we are returning saying yes this is the very authenticated user and after that user will able to log in so once you are done just save this yeah once you save just go back yeah the auth provider and open id okay so here you can observe that you have the callback url so now copy this callback url and the same callback url you have to update in the managed package you just created in the last i mean first org okay so what you have to do here is just click on edit yeah so let's update this okay so once you update next what you have to do just save this yeah after saving the another important part which we have to do is we have to tell our connected app saying that what type of user are going to use this connected app whether they are system admin standard profile or community user profile whatever it is so what i'm going to do here is okay edit policy okay so so here what we have to do we have to uh, specify our start url so start url i have to give off this authentication provider url okay so just copy this yeah 
okay and then save yeah so what we have to do to enable based on the profile is just click on the edit policies and select to admin approval yeah so once that is done you can just save yes so after saving so once we save this then uh, what we have to do is we have to assign the profile so as we are saying based on the profile we want to activate this uh, sign in option for the open id so you can select the system administrator and save this the next setting which we have to do here is we have to update the federation id of the user who wants to log in from this authentication provider or to connected app yeah so what we'll do we'll go to the user yeah and search for the user to whom you want to allow so click here i'll just change my id federation id so here if you see already i have given the my email id as federation id so this email id should match with your connected app for gmail id or any uh, email id which you are uh, logging in yeah so this id and my connected app, app or id both are same so based on this i should able to log in so once you save now the next step what we have to do is so as i am the system admin i'll just validate saying that whether i am getting this option on my app manager app launcher or not so i can just click on here and search for the open open yeah so here you can see i am getting this option so if you click here it will be navigated to the new org that is our rajesh kumar lwc dev org so this is one way to log in now what i'm gonna do is i'll just enable the same from the my login page what the this particular org user want to log in from the i mean very first page so what i'll do i'll just go to the my setup of this org yeah and go to the my domain then we have to enable this particular setting using authentication configuration yeah and you can see here is we are getting this option called open id demo you can simply save this yeah so once you save after that you just log out from this org yeah and if you notice you have different way to login so this is my login page of this particular org so i have login with open id demo which we have just created as a auth provider if you click here you will be navigated to new york so as already i have uh, i mean uh, login to my the previous org where we have configured our open id so i'll just log out from here and show you how that will look like so let's log out from here as well and log out from both the org and see how the login page will look like okay so if you click here open id demo you will be navigated here yeah and say login once you log in you will be landed to the your corresponding salesforce org so how this open id connect work yeah hope you learn something new about open id connect if yes then please subscribe the channel for more videos thank you